so far in our journey we have studied how to represent a line which is a geometric object in an algebraic manner using various forms of equations. This is a time to recollect what are the forms of equations that we have studied and understand some common properties, commonalities in that equation of line and give a general equation of line which will be helpful for uh, further analysis. So, let us see what are the different forms of line equations of line that we have studied. So, in particular we had two forms one is two point form another one is slope point form. So, first I will list the slope point form a specialization or a specialized version of this is slope intercept form where instead of a point you have been given x intercept or a y intercept. Then we have also studied two point form given two points how to uniquely determine a line and a specialized version of that is nothing but intercept form. So, we can quickly review these forms like slope point form we have a point x naught y naught which is given to us and a slope m that is given to us. So, we come up with an equation when we give the representation of this line algebraic representation of this line with slope y uh, with slope m and uh, point x naught y naught we will come up with a representation as y minus y naught is equal to m times x minus x naught. When you come to slope intercept form, suppose the x intercept is given to me. If I have been given an x intercept, then the y coordinate of that point will be 0. So, let us say x intercept is d. In that case, my uh, equation from slope point form as slope intercept form is a specialized version of slope point form my equation will become y minus 0 is equal to m times if the intercept is at d, d. So, y is equal to m times x minus d. In a similar manner, suppose the y intercept is given to me and that intercept is at c, then my y naught will be replaced by c and x naught will be replaced by 0. Therefore, I will come up with an equation y is equal to mx plus c that is what is listed here y is equal to mx plus c given a y intercept and given an x, in, x intercept the equation has a form y is equal to m times x minus d. Let us come to two point form. We have also seen during the uh, course that this two point form is closely related to slope point form. We also know that given any two points on a line we can determine the slope of a line. So, in this particular expression m will be replaced by the ratio of the change in y upon change in x. Therefore, the two point, uh, two point form will be just replica of this. Instead of m, you will have the dif difference between y axis, difference between the coordinates of y axis and difference between the coordinates of x axis that will be given in this form. Now, remember here the points given are not x naught y naught. So, the points given are x1, y1 and x2, y2. Therefore, x0 is replaced by x1 and y0 is replaced by y1 and this thing is nothing but a replacement of m. That is how these two forms are also closely related. In an intercept form, you will get two intercepts. x intercept, let us say x intercept is A and y intercept is B. Then how will these forms change? If x intercept is A, that means I have a point a comma 0. So, my x 1 y 1 will be nothing but x 1 is equal to a y 1 is equal to 0 and y 2 minus y 1 will be b upon x 2 minus x 1 will be minus a. So, b upon minus a is equal to b upon minus a into x minus a is equal to y and if you simplify that you will come up with a very simple expression of the form x by a plus y by b. So, here there is not, no brainer nothing to remember below x you write x intercept below y you write y intercept and uh, equate it with 1. Now, if you look at all these forms there is one common feature you have y what are the variables in this? Because given a point x naught, let us take the slope point form. Given a point x naught y naught, this x naught and y naught is fixed. The slope of a line is fixed. 
So, now what we are identifying is we are identifying in a condition in the form of x comma y what these coordinates should satisfy. So, the variables are x and y. If you look at all these forms the same same feature is visible. The variables are x and y and I have an expression of the form some constant times y some constant times x and added with another constant. Let us take this feature for example, y minus y naught is equal to m x minus x naught. Now, I want to differentiate between variables and constant. So, I can simply write this as y minus m times x is equal to y naught minus m x naught y naught minus m x naught will be the constant associated with this particular equation and y and the and the variable 1 variable y is associated with real coefficient 1 and variable x is associated with real coefficient minus m. So, in particular I can have a general form of the equation and similar story is true for all this. For example, if you come here I will have with with x there is a variable associated 1 by 1 by a with y there is a uh, with variable x 1 by a is a real coefficient that is associated with variable y 1 by b that is a real coefficient that is associated and the constant is c. So, I can discuss same things about all these features, but one thing is common that I can have a general form of equation which will be of the form a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. Now, let us identify this particular general form with our various expressions like slope point form. The way I discussed the slope point form we already know in this case we have assumed that b is equal to 1, but I can as well multiply by a constant term throughout the equation and we will have the same equation. So, assuming this holds true let us discuss about this this particular expression. <coughs> so, in this case you can easily see if I relate this equation with this equation that is you rewrite this as minus m x minus y is e, uh, minus y plus y naught minus m x naught is equal to 0. In that case you you can have this expression which will give you m the value of m will be given when you compare with this re respect to this expression as minus a by b and value of y naught minus m x naught. Remember this is a constant term because all these are constants of the line. So, y naught minus m x naught is equal to minus c by b. If you are able to understand this then you can easily understand the slope intercept form because in the slope intercept form what we have is if you take this form which is y is equal to m x plus c you have y intercept which is c. Therefore, your y naught will be replaced by c and x naught will be replaced by 0. So, if you look at this expression m will still remain minus a by b when I am identifying this equation m will still remain my, uh, minus a by b y naught is identified with c minus minus a by b x naught is 0. So, this becomes irrelevant. So, y naught is c. So, c is equal to minus capital C by b. In a similar manner you can do for x intercept and you will get these expressions. So, m as, as I mentioned minus c by uh, minus a by b c is minus c by b and d is minus c by a. Uh, for getting d you just put x naught is equal to d and y naught is equal to 0 you will get this expression. So, same exercise can be done for two point form and intercept form remember this m will be replaced by ratio of these two numbers ratio of these two uh, differences. So, uh, m, m is replaced by ratio of these two differences there is no x naught y naught there will be x 1 y 1 therefore, you will have an expression of this form. But remember this minus c by b is common everywhere 
the slope is minus a by b everywhere. So, essentially we have got one simple general equation similar things you can do for x by a uh, plus y by b equal to 1 that is intercept form and you will get a to b equal to minus c by a b to b equal to minus c by b. So, what we have seen here is an exact matching one to one correspondence of a general equation with respect to this equation. Now, why should I consider general equation? Remember when we figured out this representation our assumption was these are non vertical lines for vertical lines our uh, slope do not exist right. But in this case if you uh, and uh, those case, those lines are where the slope do not exist those lines are vertical lines they are of the form x is equal x is equal to some some constant right. If you look at this equation which is a general form of this equation you just put b to be equal to 0 you will get a x plus c is equal to 0 that means x is equal to some constant x is equal to minus c by a you will get right that is what our uh, intercept form also reveals. So, all these lines are actually vertical lines. So, this general equation is capable of handling vertical lines also. Horizontal lines are anyway handled here because if you put m is equal to 0 the horizontal line is handled. However, as uh, well while we were deriving these forms we were always assuming non vertical lines. So, that non vertical lines also gives uh, it justified uh, non vertical lines are covered as well as vertical lines are covered. Therefore, this equation is a general form of equation of a line. Also, in your earlier classes, you might have studied this as a polynomial in uh, without this equal to 0, a x plus b y plus c is a polynomial in two variables and it is a linear polynomial in two variables. Therefore, you will hear a term called linear equation in two variables. So, in particular, <coughs> if this to this has to represent a form of line equation of line general form of a equation of line then a and b cannot be simultaneously equal to 0. If a and b are simultaneously equal to 0 then I am actually equating constant with a 0 which is invalid. Therefore, the assumption will always be a and b cannot be simultaneously equal to 0 in though individually they can be equal to 0 for example, you can put a is equal to 0 then you will get y is equal to some constant which is a line parallel to x axis. You can put b is equal to 0 then you will get a line x is equal to constant x is equal to constant is parallel to y axis. Right. So, uh, now we will bring up a definition that any equation of the form a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 where a and b are not equal to 0 simultaneously individually they can be 0 or they can be non 0 as well is called general linear equation because we are handling a linear e linear polynomial which is equated to 0. So, it is an equation general linear equation or general equation of a line. So, what we are summarizing here is a polynomial in two variables or and general linear equation in two variables gives you line. So, this is the identification of a geometric object called straight line with an algebraic representation of general linear equation. So, this will give us more strength in our analysis because now you do not have to discuss about the line, but you can as well discuss about its algebraic re representation or you can start with an algebraic representation of a line and then discuss about the geometric properties of the line. How? Let us see in the next slide. So, here is an example. So, the example says uh, the example gives you a question that the equation of a line is 3 x minus 4 y plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, I do not know how this line behaves. Now, I want to see how this linear equation represents a line. So, when I talk about a line what is what is the natural question we will talk about what is what are the two points that uniquely determine this line or 
uh, you can ask what is the slope of a line and give me one point on a line because we have slope intercept form or we have two point form any of them should be usable. So, in order to discuss about the geometric aspects we can ask a question that find the slope or x intercept or y intercept of a line. So, how will you find this? The job is pretty simple let us go back and uh, revisit the previous slide which will uh, make the job very simple. Suppose I want to determine the x intercept and y intercept then I have this intercept form right which says that a is the x intercept and b is the y, uh, y intercept. Now, if I have been given an equation in this form which is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, I can immediately consider this equation and consider the values of a and b which is minus c by a and b is equal to minus c by b. So, let us go and do the same thing on the on the on our problem. So, we have identified a x plus b y plus c equal to 0. So, what is a? a is 3, b is minus 4, c is positive 12. Right. So, what should be my x intercept? a as you have seen in the previous slide is minus c by a. So, what is c? 12 upon a which is 3. So, my a is 4. Let me go and once again check a is minus c by a. So, uh, that is 12 by 3 which is 4. So, x uh, minus c by a 12 by 3 which is 4 and a minus sign associated with it. So, a minus 4. In a similar manner you can talk about y intercept which is 12 by minus 4. So, minus 3 but a minus sign min because it is minus c by b. So, it will be 3. So, now we, we can readily answer the question what is an a, a x intercept and y intercept. Now, the question comes what is the slope of a line. So, for slope of a line you can use the slope intercept form y is equal to m x plus c. So, identify this equation in the form of y is equal to m x plus c. So, if you look at this equation y if I want to make this y is equal in the form of y is equal to m x plus c I should push this 4 y to the right hand side that gives me y is equal to 3 by 4 plus 12 by 4 which is 3. Okay. So, my m should be 3 by 4 this is the answer. So, slope intercept form you have y is equal to 3 by 4 x plus 3. So, the slope is naturally 3 by 4. Uh, th this is this easy is our calculation. Now, we, we have identified an algebraic object as a geometric object. Now, let us uh, uh, let us see what we can do further and we can uh, we can actually verify this graphically yeah, though it may be correct it is always better to verify it graphically. So, uh, slope is 3 by 4 x intercept should be minus 4 and y intercept should be 3. If this line it satisfies if uh, you you want to satisfy the equation of this line this should happen right. So, this is how we have drawn. So, the x intercept is minus 4 y intercept is 3 and the line passes through this. Now, you pick uh, for verification purposes you can pick any point on this line and you can put the values of the coordinates into the equation of a line and verify that the it will uh, put it will give you the value 0 that will be the identification that your answer is correct. 